Hi guys and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to host an ebook in PDF format, for example, on Amazon Web Services using the S3 service. I'll also be showing you how to generate a shareable link to that ebook so you can send it to your subscribers, viewers, or clients. The ebook that I want hosted on AWS is in PDF format and it's on my desktop. So I'm just going to double click on it just to show you what it is. So it's a two page ebook with Lauren Epsom placeholder text. Okay, now that I've shown you the ebook, I'm just going to close out of it and let's start the process of getting your ebook on AWS. So the first thing we need to do is open up our browser and navigate to aws.amazon.com. Once you're here, you want to click on the orange button here that says sign into the console. So left click on it. Once you're here, if you don't have an AWS account, you'll want to create a new AWS account. I currently do have an AWS account, so I'm just going to enter my email address and hit next. Once you're here, you'll be asked to enter a password and then click sign in. Once you're signed in, you'll be brought to the AWS Management Console. So the first thing you'll need to do is to select the S3 service. So we'll go to the top left here and click services. Left click on it and then navigate down to where it says storage. You'll want to click S3. Now that you're on Amazon S3, the first thing you'll need to do is create a bucket. So left click on this big blue button here to create a bucket. So I'm going to call this bucket Lorem Epsom eBook. Be sure not to include any capitalization, symbols, or spaces. And as for the region, you want to select the region closest to your subscribers, clients, or viewers. So for me, I'm going to go with London. And then you'll want to click on the bottom left-hand side here, the Create button. Left-click on it. Okay, now that we've created our bucket, we want to change a few settings. So you want to left click on your bucket's name here. And then you'll want to move on to permissions tab here. Left click on permissions. You'll now be in your bucket settings. You want to scroll down here and then you'll want to click on edit to edit the block all public access. You'll want to uncheck this and then you'll want to click save. So you'll have to confirm this change by typing in confirm into this box here. So type in confirm and then click confirm. Okay, now that you've changed your permissions of your bucket, your public access settings have been successfully changed and now your bucket is public. Navigate back to the top here and you'll want to go back to overview. Okay, great. Now that we've changed our bucket permissions, we can now begin uploading the content. So you'll want to click this big blue button here to upload your ebook left click on it and then you want to click add files you'll then want to search for your ebook so as you can see mine is on my desktop so I'm just going to left click on it and then click open you'll then want to hit the big blue button on the left hand side here to upload your ebook and as you can see our ebook is uploaded and it's been successfully uploaded Great, so we've got our content uploaded. Now, how do we create a shareable link? So to create a shareable link for that particular ebook, you'll need to left click on the ebook. You'll now be in the overview tab of your selected ebook. So to make the shareable link, you'll need to simply click make public. Left click on this button here and you'll make your ebook public and generate a shareable link that is accessible to your viewers. Okay, now you might be wondering where exactly is the shareable link? Well, to put it simply, just scroll down and there's your shareable link. Left click on it to view it. And there you go. Your ebook is now hosted on Amazon S3 with a shareable link that you can distribute to your subscribers by just copying and pasting the following link here. If your subscribers like your ebook, they can simply navigate to the top here and then select the download icon by left clicking on it to download your ebook and selecting a destination to save it. Alright guys, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you on the next video.